Thomas tries his best. A carnival was coming to the island of Sodor. All the engines were very excited. James took the carousel. Edward and Henry took the Ferris wheel. And Percy took the bumper cars. But Thomas was the most excited of all. He couldn't wait for the carnival to open that afternoon. He was looking forward to seeing the children's happy faces. He loved hearing their cries of laughter as they rode on the Ferris wheel. But that afternoon, Sir Topham Hatt gave Thomas a new job. He was to collect some chickens from a country station and take them to the docks. I am relying on you to deliver the chickens safely, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, sir, puffed Thomas. Thomas was sure he could get the job done in time to go and see the carnival. But he was surprised to find the station empty. Farmer McCall's truck has a flat tire, said the station master. He'll be here as soon as he can. Thomas waited and waited, but Farmer McCall still did not arrive with the chickens. What's wrong, Thomas? asked James. You don't look at all happy. I'm going to miss the carnival unless Farmer McCall comes soon, huffed Thomas. James thought Thomas was silly to wait. I've just come past the carnival, he said excitedly. All the children are arriving. You could rush over there and back before Farmer McCall arrives. That's a good idea, tooted Thomas. He was sure he could steam to the carnival and back again really quickly. But as he hurried to the carnival, Thomas started to worry. What if Farmer McCall arrived at the station and I wasn't there? What if a signal held me up on the way back? Sir Topham Hatt would be very cross if I was late. I mustn't let Sir Topham Hatt down, said Thomas to himself. And he hurried back to the station. Thomas knew that this job was going to take a long time. He might miss the carnival after all. At long last, Farmer McCole arrived with the chickens. And Thomas was on his way. At the next station, Thomas told Gordon the whole story. You wouldn't have a problem if you were an express engine, huffed Gordon. You'd go really fast and get the job done in double-quick time, like me. I'll be in time to see the carnival. At that moment, the signals turned to green, and Gordon raced off. I can go fast, too, tooted Thomas, and he steamed off after Gordon. I will see the carnival. I will see the carnival, he huffed and he puffed as he sped down the track. Gordon's next signal was green. He dashed through it, but Thomas's signal turned red. Thomas screeched to a halt. The chickens in the vans flapped and squawked crossly. Thomas remembered that his job was to give them a safe and comfortable ride. Going fast was the wrong thing to do. So Thomas puffed along slowly and carefully. But he was sad. It was getting late and the carnival was already well underway.
At last, Thomas reached the docks. The chickens were safe and sound, but it was very late. Now Thomas knew he wouldn't get to see the children at the carnival. He couldn't have felt sadder. Then the dock manager told Thomas there was an emergency. The generator at the carnival has broken down, he said. So there are no lights, and all the rides have stopped working. The children will be very sad, tooted Thomas. Cranky has just unloaded a new generator, the manager told Thomas. You must take it to the amusement park. The generator was heavy, but Thomas was determined to get it to the carnival as quickly as possible. He wanted everyone to have fun again. As he pulled into the station, Thomas saw crowds of children on the platform. All the children cheered when they saw Thomas. Well done, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. You have been a very useful and reliable engine. Soon, the new generator started and the amusement park lit up again. Everything sprang back to life. Thomas felt so proud. And he gave a long toot as he watched the children having a wonderful time at the carnival. Mm -hmm.